Hello, this is Jared from Commit to Quality, and in today's video, we're going to be initializing a Git repository from scratch. So I'm going to open up Git Bash, which we installed in the last video, and I'm going to navigate to the folder I want to be inside. So in my case, I'm going to change directory into C, and then it's CD users, Commit to Quality. On my desktop, I have a projects folder. Inside there, I have a Git folder, and then finally a playground folder. You can go into any folder you want. This way, you want your repository to live on your local machine. So inside here, I'm going to use git init and create a project name. So I'm going to say git init um, lesson three. And what we can see now is it's stated that it's initialized an empty git repository. So it's nice as easy as that. If I do ls, we won't see anything other than lesson three. If I cd into lesson three and ls, there's nothing here. But what I'm going to say is ls hyphen a, which as you can see there is listing the dot git folder. And all the hyphen a is doing is lists all files and folders, including any hidden ones that start with this dot. What you might have noticed as well is as we moved inside lesson three, it's telling us we are on the master branch. This is the default branch that Git has provided us with. And if you remember, we chose this in the Git setup video. In a real scenario, this is where the latest version of production code would live. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to say git space status. And we can see that I'm on the initial commit of the branch and I have nothing to commit yet, which is right since I've not added anything to this repository. For now, we're gonna stay on the master branch, but typically you want to create branches off this to do any kind of feature development work, which we'll go through in a future video. So the next thing then, let's add something to our repository. So I'm gonna open up Folded Explorer. I'm just gonna add a simple text file. Okay, so with this open, I'm just going to say new, uh, where's text document, test.txt, and let tell what we'll add some content into there. So let's open that up and we'll just say subscribe if you haven't already. That's so you can stay on top of any future videos we do. So I'm just going to save that and we'll go back to git bash. Now what I'm going to do is git status again. And what we're going to see now is we have some untracked files where we have test. Oh, I, of course, created a text document and added .txt to it when it already it didn't need that extension, of course. So let's just get rid of that and save that there. And what I can do again is another git status. And we can see our untracked file now is test.txt. So now we actually have changes to commit. And just to recap, a commit is a snapshot along the timeline of a Git repository. Commits are used to essentially capture the state of your project at that given point in time. So what we could always do is go back to it if we ever needed to. As it currently stands, nothing is committed. So I could say undo the add, but for now, let's commit it. So I'm going to say git add dot. The dot just means add all files. I can also say explicitly only add test.txt. Either one will work. So I'm going to say add that. I'm now going to do a git status. And we can see the change is being re is ready to commit. So I'm just going to say git commit dash m. And what the dash m means is to add an inline message. And here's where we can say exactly what we've done. So I can just say added text file. And I'm going to hit enter. And there we are. That's all good. We now have our first commit in our Git repository. So if I do a Git status, you can see there's nothing to commit. And in future videos, we'll show how we can kind of gather all our previous commits, how we can revert and roll back to them. But for now, you've just set up your first Git repository and you've made your first commit. In the next video, I'll cover how to add Git to an existing repository. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good day.